Hi, I'm Udo and I'm with Modern Engineering. This is Dean, he's with Industrial Auto Loop. Dean is a certified lubrication expert. Today we're going to talk about chain lubrication in the sawmill. So Dean, one of the things that you've been telling me a lot about is, is that chain is a very overlooked area of lubrication in the sawmill. One of the standard practices is they put the chains on, they run them till they fail, and then they replace them. And it's extremely expensive, very labor intensive, and it's an unnecessary cost. So how often do they, you, you, so you're saying they're changing it often, how often is often, once, twice a year? Uh, it can range from like six weeks to six months, but we've found that in certain applications like on transfer decks and that, uh, you can actually improve your chain life by 10 to 20 times. Yeah, you were telling me you have a customer that uh, had a, a, a lubrication issue on their chain and they were starting to replace it. Well, it was, it was a mill that we worked with for a number of years and we started a project um, 10 years ago. They had a change in management, the project was halted and recently they had a new manager come in and he was touring the mill and he saw part of the deck or the line had been uh, set up with a system and he asked when was the last time that those chains had been replaced and they said well 10 years ago and you know the other parts of the decks they were doing every six months so, so there's, there's one, your 20 so the times one, so the one that was uh being lubricated took was going after 10 years and the other ones were being changed every six months yeah that's fairly costly and labor and labor intensive isn't it oh it is it, it very but there was, you were also mentioning that there was a concern in, in the industry that if you put lubrication on the chain that it would stain the wood. It can be a big issue. Um, there's a lot of uh, oil manufacturers that have started to recognize this and they're making non-staining oils. But the whole premise is to, to provide a very small amount often and all we want to do is maintain a film on the inside of the chain and we don't want any uh, residue to get on the, on the wood. Well, the other, and the other thing is, is you've seen people or companies that uh, are chain manufacturers that are recommending using water as a lubricant? Yeah. I don't, I've never seen water as a lubricant. No, it's not really. And why, and why would they, why would they use it? I, I don't know. It, it is a common practice. Um, we've seen a lot of very expensive sharp chains being installed and they recommend water to break it in. And, and I just, I can't get my head around it. Really? Yeah. Does that cause premature wear of that chain? Yeah, water uh, in a load zone like that actually will cause little micro explosions and it literally blows chunks of metal out of the, um, the pins. Wow. So, so greatly reducing their life, right? Yeah. And, and have you done the opposite by putting a lubrication system on a sharp chain like that? And have you seen an, an increase in performance and less wear? Most sharp chains are very difficult to get oil into the pins in the load zone. Um, so some companies were literally throwing 50, 60 gallons a shift onto that chain to maintain the oil in there. And the way we designed our systems, uh, we went down to about four gallons per hundred feet of chain per shift. And we took the life from eight months to 28 months. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. So if you're looking for more information, take a look at the links below. Thanks. <laughs>